The AIDS prevention chief at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says it's a big breakthrough. A pill already used to treat HIV infection, now believed to be a powerful weapon in protecting healthy gay men from catching the virus. But Dr. Kevin Fenton says Truvada is not a magic pill. This is not the time for gay men to throw out their condoms. We need to ensure that we are actually focused on other methods of protecting ourselves against HIV. Now Fenton's team is rushing to prepare guidelines as to exactly how Truvada should be used to prevent AIDS, warning people not to use the drug as a prevention tool until the guidelines are ready. The study tracked 2,500 men at high risk for HIV in Peru, Ecuador, Brazil, South Africa, Thailand, and the U.S. cities of Boston and San Francisco. In the study, it was actually undertaken among gay and bisexual men and transgendered individuals, and they were able to take the medication every day. And by doing so, they were able to demonstrate a nearly 44% reduction in the risk of acquiring HIV. A major hurdle to using Truvada to prevent AIDS is the cost of the drug, upwards of $5,000 each year in the United States. But the pills cost as little as 39 cents a day in poorer countries where it is available in generic form. In San Francisco, those in the gay community say they're hopeful about the advance. Any way that they can get rid of it, that would be great. Any way that we can put responsible sexuality and positive sexuality back in the hands of people instead of in a virus, I think it's a wonderful thing. What remains unknown is whether the pill could have the same impact on heterosexuals. Drug maker Gilead can seek government approval to market the drug as a preventative. Meantime, doctors are free to prescribe Truvada in that manner for patients who can afford it. Jason Bronis, The Associated Press, Atlanta.